Greetings, gun enthusiasts. It is range day. Time for the promised test of the Remington HTP 38 Special Plus P 125 grain semi jacketed hollow point from the Ruger LCR. First things first, I want to get a good baseline on what kind of crony readings this ammunition produces. And I already have the gun loaded up. So let's begin. Nine hundred eleven feet per second. Nine hundred ten feet per second. Nine hundred three feet per second. Eight hundred ninety one feet per second. Nine hundred three feet per second. Okay, we're back in a slightly different setup, and of course, I've lost the good light here. But what I'm going to try to do is, I've got the four layers of denim on, I'm going to try to capture the penetration depth. And this might not go so well on camera, actually, but it's an experiment. Um, you can see how long the gel column is here. That first block is a bit over 13 inches and then I've got a backer behind it and a and a jug behind that but my thought is we'll either have a failure and an over penetration or we will stop short because of the heavy expansion that we'll experience all right And even though I've lost the light, I'm going to try to get a crony reading. We'll see what happens. No, I could not get a successful crony reading. But, yeah, we definitely, we have damage to the jug. We have what definitely appears to be a pass-through with the four-layer test. Definitely lost that bullet. But let's try it with two layers of denim. See what the manuf... See if we can see how that bullet is intended to work. A quick two-layer test on here. Pause this while I... Okay, we are recording again, trying for a two-layer test this time. And this time, we have a capture thanks to the jug backer. And let me show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> right there all the way through not much expansion a little bit of expansion but yeah all the way through which raises a possibility that that first one expanded slightly as well uh, um okay i'm gonna try for i'm gonna try another four layer and see if I can center it, center it up better. All right, I'm set up to do four layer this time. Straight through the center of the block. What do we have? Yup, that is what we have. Stopped it with the jug backer and yes, there is expansion, but
but there is not much expansion. Okay, so this is the key. This is the key with this bolt. Let me try to get that in the view frame for you. Wow. So this is a bullet that focuses on penetration. It's a bullet design that focuses on penetration over expansion, but does does defeat the four layer denim test wow that's kind of crazy i am really fascinated by that that there there is really not a lot of expansion on that at all but it does retain you know the sharp outer edge of a um Of a, of a of a wad cutter at least, and it's probably a little bit uh, a little bit a little bit wider than a wad cutter. But these are getting the full 16 inches of penetration through my gel blocks. There's the two layer denim shot. Very interesting. Okay, let us try a bear gel shot because. I do want to see what it's capable of, expansion-wise. I'll pause again. Okay, filming again. Bear gel this time. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Does that show up on camera? Very nice. And unfortunately, my little <laughs> my $6 plastic ruler is about done for. But look at there. Stopped it right at about 11 and a half inches. No, that's a little bit of bounce back. Actually, the track on that extends almost to 12 so a good 11 and three quarter inches so that and that one definitely displays some better expansion let me just it's close to the top see if i can pull that out for you guys here there we go there we go that's that's a little bit that's a little bit better there's what what gun sam was experiencing a little uh certainly five eighths of an inch expansion there very very interesting whoopsie let me get that in the view very interesting bullet nice nice little mushroom huh versus the uh the denim layer bullets here i'm not used to filming this direction bear gel four layer denim two layer denim it is an interesting round. It's an older bullet technology. It does, you know, even when it when it clogs up, of course, it doesn't. Uh, it flattens out instead of uh, instead of getting uh, it, it, instead of clogging up and 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 going the way of a uh, a jacketed hollow point. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, interesting results. Thanks, folks. Geographies are out.